two topics that I was hoping to share with you all today. One, obviously, is the importance of STEM education. That's for everybody. Uh, we heard some great stories this morning about how critically important this is for our economy, but also for our kids. And if our kids are going to have a fighting chance to prosper in the world ahead, they really need to be literate in STEM. And then an another point, which is a great passion of mine, which is our girls. Our girls need to be literate in STEM as much as our boys need to. And today, that's not the case. And so there's good work to do, and there's good work being done. And we know that today, this education needs to be grounded in STEM. So it used to be the case that if you were going to be a rocket scientist, you needed to know science, technology, engineering, and math. But if you look at the job growth that's projected over the next decade in our state, these jobs are going to be STEM jobs. So for our kids to have the chance at social mobility, class mobility, they really need that great underpinning from STEM. We know that women going into STEM-related jobs, uh, the percentage is less than 25%. So over half the graduates, less than 25% of the jobs. And you know what? That number has been stagnant for the last decade. So come back to the thing I was saying before, which is we know that in the future, they're going to be, the fastest growing jobs are going to be STEM related. We know that in Washington state, we have the second fastest gap that's being created between the needs and preparedness. And we know that girls are participating at a really, really low rate. Not only is that not great for women and not great for girls and not great for social equality and all those kinds of things, it's not great for the economy. So I could stand here and, and give you all kinds of uh, statistics about the sad state we're in, but, but I don't want to do that because I'm actually fairly optimistic about where we are and where we're going. And I am quite hopeful that we as Washingtonians are going to be able to come together in ways that we haven't seen before and are starting to see today to solve these issues and to make a difference and to make sure that our kids are getting the STEM educations that they need to be able to participate fully and the lives that are ahead of them. And as we heard this morning, lives that we probably can't yet fully predict. So there's a lot to be encouraged by. Washington STEM and communities all across the state are joining hands to launch STEM networks. This will give us a chance to spur equity and innovation uh, around the state, as well as having a really great way to spread best practices so that we can accelerate progress in some areas. And I think that's something really to be optimistic about. We need to continue to work together. We need to work across boardrooms and conference rooms. We need to work across party lines uh, and, and build on the momentum that we have so that we can make sure that Washington State isn't just a great STEM state, but it's a really great STEM education state. And you know, as I think uh, again about my mother's ambition and her lifelong work around trying to make sure that great education was touchable and, and real for all. You know, I can only hope that as we all look back on what we've been able to create and think about the accomplishments, that we'll be able to look at this as a time when we really made a difference. So thank you for being here.